Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris Newbie Tutorial Series Episode number 5. I'm your host, Colors Fate. Here's our empire in the year 2255. And we just got a diplomatic insult from the exterminators. They're not happy with it. A vileness. You are worthy of extermination. Well, yes, perhaps they're right here. The exterminators, they have gone and grabbed this big wing over here. So, this is where we're at. Everything is in the black, though, which is good. Energy credits, minerals. I'd like to not be selling so many minerals, though, to make that happen. We are trying to get as many fleets as we now can. We now have a naval capacity of 79, which is fantastic, um, which is much better than the 30 we had. So we jumped from 30 to 79 very quickly. This bastion right here, who is this? Is Med Keresh? What is Construction the Med complete. Keresh state? Why is that there? Why is that there? Oh, Construction this complete. is. I know why. All right, I'm gonna do this. It's got. I never use these things, gun batteries and missile batteries for trade protection, but that's what they're for on this particular one because they offer five trade protection. We can see here. The trade going through here there's a little white skull which means right now um, we're getting more more trade route protection than we are getting from uh, then we are getting piracy so that's why it's what when it turns red then then piracy is going to happen the great craft technology technocracy in this Ganuri have found peace they've declared somebody else their rival but later on, we're going to get hangers here. And we don't have those now. We haven't researched them, but we're going to get hangers. <laughs> and when that happens, then... Uh, construction complete. Then we'll switch over to hangers. Here's this construction ship right here. So we need to grab all the rest of this for ourselves. In addition to this thing over here. Build that. Uh, we got the galactic market. Construction complete. So now the market fee is 20% instead of 30%. We're the market leader. And then there is technology, I think, in a tradition. Somewhere it might be prosperity. Yep, I think it might be. Oh, it might be down here. Market fee is reduced by 10% right here under diplomacy. So then we can get to 10%, which is really nice. Our empire capital right now has an unemployed pop and it is a fast robot. So that's great. We need more mining districts anyway. There is a fast robot on this planet that needs a job. So we'll get We're going to look at... There are blockers here. Lots of them. That we actually have the tech for. So we can spend the 15,000... I mean, 1,500 credits on that and unblock those. We've got this awesome Gaia world last episode, which is just Construction has complete. so excited. This is very nice. Ships upgraded. Ships are upgraded, which is fantastic. This is the second wave. I'm going to move them to there. And I'm going to make them aggressive fleet stands. And then what we're going to do is look at second wave as far as... We're going to look at the fleet manager for second wave. And we're going to say, well, what I'd really like to have is about... I can have 30 ships in a fleet. I'd like to have a fleet that looks like that. But to fully upgrade, that's going to cost me Construction more complete. alloys than I actually have right now. It's It says reinforced fleet for 1510 because that's what we have. Construction complete. And we got some more minerals. I need to I need to keep this really in the black because our maintenance costs are gonna go up. 
And here we can build an observation post because there is primitives here. There's at least one primitive civilization in the system. They are in the steam age right now. We can just observe them. And that guy. What are we going to do with him? This, is, this spot down here is bothering me. So we're going to move him there and get that bit. We might just want to Actually, here's what I'm going to do with this guy. Like, he's an extra maintenance cost we don't need right now. We have two of these ships over here doing this. Then they'll go over here and do this. Then we can go grab this, even though it's kind of OCD-ish bothers me. And, we're, and I, I need to get all of this. Get it all done, because it costs influence to do it. And then we can go in here and we can um, change, reform our government. It's not supposed to have those anymore. We went to spiritualist. We, we transitioned because of a galactic event. So that was very cool. How are our friends Research doing? complete. These guys, slaving despots, they kind of like us. These guys kind of like us. Research complete. Okay, so now we have the Naval Logistics Office and the Fleet Academy. That's very nice. Um, the cheapest thing on here right now is administrative capacity it also matches new world so does starbase capacity i'm going to pick this because we're only using seven of nine star bases right now and i don't have a i don't have a real need to have two more just yet i'm going to want them but not the second i'd rather have the administrative capacity because you can see up here our empire sprawl is 135 and our admin capacity is only 30 and so we're we're taking penalties, taxes. It says technology cost plus 31%, tradition adoption cost plus 52%. So this this will reduce that just ever so slightly. To be nice. And these guys to reinforce this fleet is yeah. I'd like to know what it's actually going to cost, but we're going to keep trying to build these things up um this is also the third problem is we also have a slot over here too these guys have have got all this and they have three ways into our empire um, so there's not much we can do about that i mean they're, they're, they're our nearest neighbors and just unfortunately the way that things worked out we can't we can't chop them off kind of like we can these guys up here where so up here we have this spot which will prevent them from getting in. This is our choke point here. And we have one choke point down here. These guys, uh, three choke points right here. It's just kind of a mess. So um, I think the best thing to do is build this. Start getting that ready. We might be able to put a fleet over there too. Smaller one. And in fact, let's see, he has a sector right there, sector capital air and a sector capital air. You can tell because they have these little blue dinghies on them. They look like crystals around the six edges of it. This is his empire capital right there. So if we want to, we may want to move this fleet, in fact. We may want it to be over here. This, these would be two things we could capture and then kind of start to push off in this direction. We are going to war with this guy, we know that. He's too cranky not to. We got another tradition, great. So, supremacy, we can choose ship fire rate is increased by 10%, or ship build cost reduced by 10%, and ship build speed increased by 25%. I like that a lot. So we're gonna choose that. This egg world has a person, a bioforge person. <coughs> Not a robot who needs a job. Research complete. So we'll do. Let's see. I'm gonna put lots of cities in here. Research alternatives are now plus one, so now we have an additional one. So we went into gravitonic sensors. Tracking. Five. Sensor range. Hyper lane detection range four, which means we can see ships coming from up to four away. Um, if we put a listening post on there but you have to actually put it on your stations and I tend not to do that um, everything else on here is pretty cheap it's also 
computing expertise. Notice that, that four of the five options are computing. So this is an important thing to understand is that whatever expertise your person has up here, that increases the likelihood that the option over here is going to match it. So we have a computing person up here and that's why we have several computing options. We don't have anybody else as far as physics or anything that we could put in there. We could try to hire somebody else but there's only another computing person, so. I'm going to re improved reactor booster, these, or research time. Um, I'm gonna choose research station output, and I hope that that, we'll see how, how that increases when it comes off. Right now we got 231. So. Construction complete. This planet, as we said, they, they have a fast robot. So robots can't work the technician jobs over here and they can't work clerk jobs that the districts provide. So we have to make this a... We have to give him a job with food or we have to pay the cost to move that robot to another planet. Research complete. It's also an option. Synthetic crystal plants, great. We can go for Elgate Insights or we can go for Starhold, which I'd really like to have. Like to have that and the rail gun. So, I also want a mineral purification plant. Actually, this is the cheapest thing on here to research. It takes the least amount of time. Forty-four months gives me mineral purification plants. I really want that. On the flip side, um, we also have a voidcraft person here, and he is age sixty. So the odds of him dying before I have him research this are probably small. So I'm gonna go for this. I'm also gonna take a look at my edicts right now because I have Construction nothing going complete. on. I'd like to spend some on diplomatic grants. I'd like to get to the point where we can get a federation going, but that also takes a tradition to unlock. I'm gonna keep all these guys busy. So what do we have? have moats over here. Go get this, and then we can get these nice six minerals over there. This colony just had its first slot unlock, of course, as always, robots. This generator world has a fast robot built. So we'll do that. The Empire Capital unlocked another slot. So here's one of the things we can do. Here's what I like to do is put, this is one of the rare resources, synthetic crystal plants. We don't have the rest of them out yet. The other ones are gases and moats. I like to put one of these and one gas and one moat on every single planet. And then that kind of ensures that you have enough rare resources to do all your upgrades to these buildings as time rolls by. Um, I, would, and I, I would kind of like to do that. to do that let's do that let's put that in the thing is these rare resource build or, or secondary resource buildings a lot of time they only provide one job they don't provide these buildings here can get upgraded to provide eight jobs they provide two now the first upgrade will jump them up to five jobs Construction and the last complete. upgrade jumps them up to eight jobs so they provide a lot of jobs that way. this right here yep so we're gonna construction do, complete um, an anchorage Oh, no, no, not an anchorage. We're going to do guns, missile battery, crew cores. When this ship gets over here, we're going to do ball dirk. So we tell him you can assign to that starbase. Construction complete. What is this? This is not a pack broken between two people, two factions. Another faction has declared another faction their rival. So these guys are substantial. Oh, they're yellow because they're not, you can see this, in orbit. They're yellow because they're not um, 
see this one says green docked at Nimozi Starbase reducing ship upkeep by 25% these guys are docked because this crew quarter doesn't exist yet so we're gonna bump the crew quarter up so it gets built first I should have built that first that's all right we're still in the black so we're okay and even though we've been in the underside of that today a few times it hasn't been that bad construction complete Construction complete. Me and my beverage. All right, construction complete. Ship here. Grab those moats, baby. Because these things provide um, rare resources. The big thing, rare res I keep calling them rare resources. The I consider these secondary resources. They're not the primary ones like minerals, food, and energy credits. But what these secondary resources complete. do, besides allowing you, besides paying the maintenance cost for upgrades, is they allow you to do all these edicts. And when war breaks out, I like to go in here and just turn all these on. Uh, and I like to have the resources to do them for that because it's kind of important that they they give you again, these little boosts that help. So. of the mind to ditch the two constructor ship and go with one. This planet now is at this point I have a fast robot that needs a job. I could keep going for food here <coughs> or I could move that robot. So where would be a good place to move him? Probably right there, they have... I'm gonna move him to that planet. Good, good turn. Pay that cost to move. Construction away. complete. Is these guys. Research complete. Research complete. So there's the research station that we just did, 10%. Yeah, the disruptor, that's a, a nice thing to have. And chemical plants, I want that. That creates the volatile modes. Um, yeah, I have physics research. The disruptor is a nice weapon. Uh, look what it does. It a uh, 100% shield penetration and 100% armor penetration, but its damage is quite variable. The damage is always one to whatever the maximum is. So you can roll low on it, but it does bypass all defenses. So. Quite nice. We're gonna grab chemical plants so we can start getting those resources constructed. You guys over here, what are you doing? Are you docked yet? You are. Okay. Concerns me when I'm not a at this early in the game, it concerns me when I'm not complete. above 100 minerals, and I am, but I'm going to sell 150 of them to keep myself in the black, so a little bit concerned about that. Here's a, another Bioforge Supremacy person, a real live person, and so I would like to get a temple on that. We don't have the Atokthan Monument anymore. We're also low on consumer goods. That's what I was saying from episode one, is use this as your guide complete. for what to build. Certainly you want to have a plan, but this is a good guide for what you should be doing. Same thing with this planet. This is... Uh, we're going to put a temple on there as well. Research complete. They have rare planetary features. They have a human body, which means mass gas extraction Construction complete. are two, so that would be fantastic. Here's our administration capacity. We can grab even more administration capacity up here. Um, leader lifespan, plus five. Hydroponics farms and hydroponics bays. I'm going to grab those because they're cheap to research. You can see our empire sprawl up here now. Our technology cost was over 30%. Now it's 29.1. Our tradition cost was over 50%. So the going from an administration capacity of 30 to 50 is not a huge deal, obviously. This is the tax you pay for for having a big empire, and we don't even have a, that big a one yet. But as I was saying very early on in the series, that's the that's that's the way of appeasing the players who who want to play a small empire and still be construction complete viable. 
This is a... Okay. Hmm, what am I going to do? I need more housing. Those provide eight housing. So that's what I talked about in my planetary management video is these buildings here factories, civilian industries, foundries, and research buildings all can be upgraded complete. to provide eight jobs, and a city district is the only thing that actually provides eight jobs when it gets Construction um, complete. upgraded a certain way too. So you kind of want to have, like, right now this is five, but you can, these get upgraded. So you kind of want, for each one of these buildings, you really want a city district. It doesn't always work out that way because it needs and math and things like that. And now we're hemorrhaging money and consumer goods, so the next building that we put down, we put down the synthetic crystal plant and we could spend the money and replace it with the consumer goods that complete. the synthetic crystals we're not actually using right now. We're mining enough of them, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to replace this with this. Because we're mining enough of those off of uh, a couple of spots out here. We'd have to turn this on to find them, but there's some synthetic crystal plants somewhere around here. Oh, there's there's four right there that we're mining every month. So, since we're not using them that much right now, it's a good idea to, to do that. I, don't, I guess grab this. What's going on here? The Skinnery Defensive Pact and a research agreement between these people. So we're going to build this. We're going to replace this city district, Construction provide more complete. housing and a job. Provides a clerk job. And then when this gets built, the civilian industries, it'll, it'll pull a couple of clerks away. And I have 3.8 for alloys. What's it cost to build this all up? 28? Okay. I just pressed that button, and that's, that means my shipyards, both shipyards, are cranking out ships that are going to fly over here and join with this automatically. It's going to do that upgrade, which will be nice. Research complete. Because, oh, so mineral purification plants, finally, awesome. Rare research, curl red, hull, hit points, plus 100. We're going to grab that. Mineral purification hubs. We're going to grab that because I want to see what's going on here. With the exterminators, their fleet is equivalent to ours. And with, uh, who are the other factions that are right next to us that don't like us? The Ud Kavango. So, the Ud Kavango don't like us. Their fleet power is equivalent. So, all this is... Research complete. All of this is rather troublesome. Hydroponic. Construction okay, complete. Food processing facilities. These are nice. These are one planet, one building per planet that allows you to uh, significantly boost the output from farmers, which is nice. This naval capacity, though, I kind of want that really bad. We're going to need it. So we should get it. Because that'll boost it to over 100. So then we could have. Uh, potentially three really good fleets there. This is Pauta, and in order to help us get out of this, I'm going to build commercial zones. Um, these three planets right here, this one, and this one, and this one, they are not producing trade income for us. This guy's producing complete. three, he's producing eight, this one's producing twelve, because none of these guys have civilian industries on them yet. As soon as I get civilian industries on these three planets, and this central station here is going to be grabbing it, uh, this is going to become less of an issue. So that's the that's the plan there. You can see my individual ships flying. If you click on them, it says merging with the second wave over here. So we're building that fleet. And what do we want? Energy credit. So these two guys working in conjunction after this guy builds up here I'm gonna I'm gonna decommission him because they're really tapping all my influence very quickly I 
can help myself out of this a little bit more by doing that. <clears throat> this is my other fleet here. These guys, home base, Kepler Station. Construction Send them there. complete. Send them back home. These are the exterminator fleets, so. Oops. F1. If I go to the exterminators and I don't want them around, I can say close my borders. I think this makes them even more mad, though. If I'm not mistaken. <coughs> but. Okay, this guy. I'm going to send him home the nearest station and keep him in case uh, we need him for something. What is this? Open borders. I don't no see any reason to keep you locked out. The great craft technology. S technocracy. So they're almost friendly toward us now. They're minus five. Xenophobia. Opinion is a measure of how an empire feels about complete. other can be increased by building trust, the signing of diplomatic agreements, or by pros and trade deals that are favorable sure, to them. So, <coughs> that's interesting. This guy, he's just, he's going to be the lone builder for a while. This planet has a fast robot. So, I gotta decide what I wanna do here. I wanna build this next row out. What do we have? I don't have any blockers. Construction complete. This has another fast robot, that's fine. I'm gonna grab this last mining district and then I'm gonna use the last slot to build. Um, cities, and then on this planet, this is your home world, and it starts out all split up. It starts out with an even number of districts across the board. I don't want to do that, so what I'm going to do is take the agricultural district and uh, replace it with something else. City district, or generator district, after it's done building all that stuff. Construction complete. So all my shipyards are done producing the ships. Now they're all joining down here with this fleet. It'll be a fleet of 30 when it's done. And really the only thing I care about... Okay, their fleet power is now inferior compared to ours. So that's... Construction complete. That's nice. When we get this number bumped up to naval capacity again, when we get the next piece of research done, I'm building another fleet right here, and then at that point in time, research we'll complete. be in position to either defend or possibly go aggressive against them. The plasma accelerator, so nice. The energy nexus is the upgrade. Um, we don't need to upgrade that building yet. That's not necessary. Uh, energy weapons path. This unlocks more stuff in energy weapons. I'd really like to just get the cheapest thing on here is physics researchers. I'd also like to get basic combat rolls though, since it, it uh, matches research computing. Oh, look at this. 13 minerals over there. That's nice. That's very nice. These three planets, right around our home world. As soon as we get con consumer commercial zones down, it's really going to be nice. Great craft technology has declared the Scanuri Kamino the rival, yeah, and they've done it vice versa. So those two things. We got three people here now who are inferior. The Ukavango, their fleet power is inferior, and their economic power is inferior to us. So that's nice. Do the diplomatic grants. What I'm looking forward to is uh, I want to get 
I want to get supremacy completely unlocked, but I might have to start sooner in diplomacy. I might have to make the next two things diplomacy. This helps you unlock the form federation. And that's a very nice thing to have. Because uh, it will provide, you and your federation partner will provide ships. Can provide ships to the fleet, and that, uh, that's a nice thing. Have that, that extra fleet running around, potentially wreaking havoc for you. These guys almost there. Construction complete. Two more buildings and the constructor vessel. Three. So here is our home room. This is going on. So where is that building? There it is. Mineral purification plants plus 15% to all these mines. We have I like that plan a lot. I like that plan a whole lot. That'll help. And this planet here. Okay, so this is Kutern. Let's take a look at that. Kutern. It's right there. This is one of the ones we need to put commercial zones down on. And do this. These provide five clerk jobs, which provide um, trade and amenities. And so, what they're gonna do is, it's gonna boost this little ring number down here to something closer to what our home world has. These are basically energy credits. What you're collecting, and we're collecting from right all right here. So, all the things you can do to help help your empire out. Especially trade. Trade is just a big, big one. Rivalry. Rivalry or earn you more influence. But it also tends to make them um, a little more angry, a little more eager to go to war at some point in time. Construction complete. Technology. Let's see what we're doing for situation log. Translating the explorer's test costs 34 months, 48 months. Drone study. Breathe in, breathe out. What is this? Observe the rift in space discovered near Osaka and await whatever comes out of it, if anything. We're going to do that. It's only eight months away. Might as well do that. Construction now. complete. This planet has a robot employee and three open jobs, so uh, that's because we, we have all the robot miners here that we can possibly handle. So what do we want to do? Do we want to move them somewhere else? Yes, we do. We want to move them to Pote. We're going to resettle to Pote a couple of fast robots. Move them there like that. Pote. So Potur is over here. Oops, a bunch of stuff at one time. Oh. Do I want to put that yet? Yeah, let's do the gene clinic second, then do the capital building and provide another job. Let's do all of that. This means uh, resource storage is full is for food, so we just have to go sell some off. And it also means I need to up this trade because we're we're up against it. And then we got a tradition. I'm gonna grab diplomacy, I think. Mostly for the whole idea that we might be able to form a federation. I certainly like this stuff. Fleet command limits increased by 20, Admiral level cap increased by two. Those are nice. Starbase damage increased by 20%. And uh, ship fire rate increased by 10%, but I thinking I want to try to get a, a federation going. So, get some of the others here. I'm going to adopt that. I know some people say, the way some people play this is, they go straight down the line and they get an ascension perk, and then they get everything on the next thing, and they get an ascension perk, and everything in an ascension perk. I tend to go all of this first, a little bit of expansion get that first research technological ascendancy ascension perk and then I kind of scatter out because some of the ascension perks that I really like aren't 
necessarily a big deal until later. Although, let's see. What's the one I really like? Grass the Void is great. More Five more star bases. Um, this is really nice. One Vision is really, really nice. Uh, I like that. Special project complete. Some energy credits. Let's see. Oh, wow. What's this? Consecrate World. Consecrating uninhabited planets up to three increases spiritual ethics, attraction, and empire-wide amenities, as well as unity generation. Scaling to the spiritual significance of the world's consecrated. Wow, I've never used that one before because I've never gone spiritualist before. We started out as a technocracy, and now we're spiritualists. So, Mastery of Nature. That's not one I care about. Let's see. Transcendent Learning. Shared Destiny. Losses project. This one is the one I love. Gene tailoring technology. You gotta have first though. Gene modification points plus three. Modify species project cost. I love this because I love incoming modifying my planet and I love getting the clone bats. It's great. So these guys, they want to give us energy credits and minerals. The Skinnery do. Great. The latest data reported from the RIPS observation probe tells us that the rift has vanished. After drawing its last breath, the rift closed and left behind not even trace of its energies. However, the data collected over time has furthered our physics studies by 350. That's great. Okay. So there's that. Yeah, species modification is nice and it works. It works just like we've been doing it for the robots. This is, oh yeah, it's to make pop assembly speed, that's right. <laughs> robot miner, robot fast robot, and a robot farmer. So we have a bunch of fast robots. We can apply the robot miner template, and we can apply the robot farmer template to some of these. So here's, complete. here's a chance to look at this. I have to do this. Basic combat rolls. All right, what now? The cheapest thing on here is the improved reactor booster or research complexes. Research complexes are the upgrades for the research buildings, and I'm not as concerned about that yet. Um, Antimatter reactor says further advancements in several different fields. That sounds nice, but it's a lot of research to get there. I think I'd like to go with the hyperdrive. Or this improved reactor booster. I'm going to grab that. That's cheap. That is a cheap thing to do. So species, let's see if we can make some robot farmers. Apply that template. How many farming worlds do we have? We have nine robots here on this world of Katurn. And Med Karish has seven. So that's 16 of them. Katurn and Med Karish. There's Katurn as all farmers for robots. All these guys need to be farmers. And Med Karish, same thing. So yeah, let's go apply that template and do that research. Robot farmer. Construction apply that template. complete. That's what I put these Fs in there for. So we say those two planets take their fast robots and convert them to robot farmers. And it'll cost that much research. Situation log updated. And it's going to take 36 months to do. Modify our robots. This planet right here. Which one is this? This is Med Karish. It is. Where is Med? It's over here. So this is within this circle that I've been saying. We need to get our commercial zones on. I'm gonna do that. And this has a fast robot worker here on Katurn. So we're going to provide him with the last job there. Okay. This is Modify Species. Construction complete. Modify Species Project failed. Our project to modify match the... Failed. Why did it fail? I've never seen that happen before. Why did it fail? Curious about that. I'm very curious. Why did it fail? 
did it fail? Fast robots. Robot farmer. We want to apply this template to these two planets. Situation log updated. Oh, I needed a quick research, I guess. I see. I didn't click research and so it didn't do it. I got you. That's why I failed. Okay. See, even I learned some things. It's, it's a it's a big game, that's for sure. Big game, lots to it. A lot. Construction complete. The most important part to me is being able to look at this and see that okay, his fleet power is now pathetic compared to ours. So, the next time we can make Construction a, a fleet complete. of ships. We may be able to go after this guy. I still don't feel good about doing that because these fleets are so small. These fleets are very, very small. I'm not a big fan of going to work, going to war, doing that. Not a fan. This bastion says what? Deep lens platforms that can be upgraded. All these can be upgraded. Okay. Upgrade them all. Construction complete. They're done. They're upgraded. First wave fleet. Can also be upgraded. Do that yet though. I'm going to start another fleet. Uh let's see. Construction complete. Destroyer L. Get those guys on. And this guy. Continuing to tackle this part for us. So here we are, influence gain. With only having the one guy running, we've been able to gain some influence back, which means I can go to my edicts and I can say, uh, what is this? Declare saint? Monthly unity, 15%. See, now that we're spiritualists, this is killing me. We can also go in here and we can uh, finally take care of this. So we can reform our government now that we have enough. So no more technocracy, no more mechanists. Why, why can't I undo that? The civic cannot be added or removed after the start of the game. Oh, awesome. So we get to keep mechanists. That's cool. We can get rid of technocracy and grab something else, though. All right, I'm going to pause this. I'm gonna look through this again. Environmental goods, no. Exalted priesthood, this was one of the considerations because his capital buildings replace some administrative jobs with high priests that add additional unity. I like that a lot. Um, merchant guilds provide merchant jobs. Capital buildings provide merchant jobs and merchants also produce two unity. So it's a priesthood that provide priests produce one additional unit and merchants provide two additional unit. Hmm. Kind of like this idea of this whole this whole spiritualist priesthood thing. I'm going to go with this and I'm going to reform. So there we are. We're going to be that now. 67 unit. Oh, look, our unity just bumped way up. It went from 67. It doubled, basically. Wow, that's awesome. Oh, that's going to help us earn all these traditions so much faster. I like that a lot. I like that a whole lot. Um, now, what that does, yeah. So, here's the thing people went unemployed because this guy's unemployed. Bioford Supremacy. So, he's unemployed. Because we lost a, a particular job, we got to get him a new job. Um, I'm going to. This has medical worker jobs of two, and this has one roboticist job. Mm, how many pops do I have working mining? Let's find out. I have. I have a bunch of technicians, and I have some miners. I have one person mining who's not a robot but i have these four food jobs that could go to somebody else so here's what i'm going to do we're done making robots on this planet i could replace this the thing is i need to keep making robots because then i can push them off to the gaia world so 
I'm gonna do this. Um, I'm gonna replace this with a city district and another city district. It's gonna give me a bunch more housing, which I'm gonna need for later. It's gonna provide clerk jobs. He's still not gonna go down to a lower stratum and work a clerk job because a clerk job is a bottom job. It takes a long time to shovel him downward down the train chain. But this world, what's it got for jobs? It's got three jobs, available jobs. It's got a clerk, miner, and a technician. So he could work a technician job. Okay, so I can send him to this planet, Powter. So I'm going to send that guy to Powter. Alright, I'm going to resettle him to Powter. And which Powter is that? It's Powter 1. Alright, resettle him to Powter 1. Right there, I'm going to find this guy, unemployed specialist. I'm going to move him there. Now, what do we have here? Scientist. So he came over here. And it says he's unemployed. Demoting to worker. He's an unemployed priest. But if we provide... He's not going to work a technician job? Why not? because there's an enforcer, medical workers, researchers, and roboticists. Oh, technician jobs also count as workers, so I'm dumb. Um, this this is still a worker job. It just can't be worked by uh, robots. Well, that's okay, because what, all we need to do is get enough people, two more people on here, and we can unlock a slot, and then we can provide a job for them. So let's keep looking. There's an unemployed specialist here, so we're going to resettle him as well. Two power to one. We're going to find him. Specialist, unemployed. Move him. This will disable a building slot. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Okay, so that's what it's saying is since we're... This is saying since we're at 25 people, if we if we move him off, it drops down to 24 and we lose this spot. We don't want to do that. This planet has 28 people. So we're going to take this person on here that's unemployed specialist. We're going to move them to Powder 1. We're going to take an unemployed robot pop or a robot farmer and move them to Med Karish. We're going to move one of them. And that gives him 26. So now we can take his person and move it to Powder 1. Do that. And now this planet has this slot unlocked, and we can provide jobs for these guys. Or well, we can provide jobs for two of them. <laughs> Still can't provide, but we're gonna put we're gonna we're gonna get them research job, which will be great. So they're gonna two of these guys will get employed by research. The other one could get demoted. We're gonna hope that we can get more people in here really fast. It takes a long time to demote, so that was what. That's what this tradition earlier in one of the episodes I was talking about, where it says, um, where is it? The time it takes an unemployed pops to demote to a lower stratum is reduced by 50%. You can see that these guys here, who were used to being a, a certain kind of, they're in this stratum, the second stratum, the silver one, specialists. For him to be demoted to a worker, this is how long he's going to be unemployed before he finally decides to take a job that that is below his station. Um, I, believe me, I was unemployed for 10 months one time. I know what this is like. It's terrible. Um, but he's going to be unemployed for uh, 16, oh, 1,700 days. So do the math. How many years is that? Like six? Um, that's the... That's the lifetime of the loan on your car. So we should be able to get him a job before he has to be demoted. We should be able to populize this planet and get this 30 slot unlocked too. So it's going to complete. take a long time for him to demote. We're going to get him a job. Everything will be good. Back to this agri world. This now has a fast robot worker. It's unemployed. So we're going to give him an agricultural job. Taking a little bit of a hit on a couple of things. Um, consumer goods are are 
something that I sometimes end up a little short on like this, you can always go in here and say, I'd like to buy five of them. Research complete. I, like, I just like to keep myself in the black across the board. Naval capacity bumped way up again. All right, cool. I'm excited now. Gene modification points. Yes. All right. This makes me excited. It is biology. This guy is a level four. Do we have a biology person? No. Okay. Get it done. I can't wait to gene modify it. It works just like robot modification. It's awesome. I love it. Um, the last game that I played before I did this tutorial, I really delved into it more. I really had quite the gene modification stuff going on. There's there's so many different ways to play Stellaris. Construction complete. Advance through the game. Uh, you can play as a perjurer. You can play as egalitarian and invite all the refugees you want into your empire. Construction and complete. Let them colonize the planets that uh, fit their species. For instance, you know we're we're not a a we're not the type of species that can live on these these red ones very well. Arid savanna world desert world but you can get species into your if you have a, a refugee agreement or a it's not called a refugee agreement what's it called let's let's look here it's called a uh, migration treaty if you have a migration treaty with somebody you can get their species as part of your empire and if they have the correct rights to be you have to go into your policies basically and uh, if you set the refugees, refugees welcome, and if you uh, allow them to be full citizens in your uh, in your empire, then what can happen is they can colonize these planets and uh, and grow on those, and they become part of your empire. And so your empire becomes very multicultural. Or you can be a purger and get rid of everybody except you. Or you can do what I did last time, which is I accepted all the refugees into my into my empire, but I terraformed every single world to be like my own world, which was a frozen world. And so your refugee, that the people that come into your empire by being egalitarian, they don't like your frozen world. So I used gene modification to make it their preferred habitat, which was awesome. So then I was just able to make my whole empire completely uniform. A whole bunch, nothing but frozen worlds, and everybody who was a population of my empire loved being on a frozen world. So that was kind of fantastic. So there's a bunch of different ways to grow and progress your civilization, and I really like that. The Vool Autocracy says, hey, we, we don't see any reason to be enemies anymore. These guys have an inferior to us situation. Um, I'm going to take this fleet and put them here. They're going to go to Galpan. We're going to make Galpan their home station. We're going to go into the fleet manager and say, I want uh, research complete. This, that to be a fleet. And then I'm going to say, uh, go ahead and enforce it. It's gonna and the sta the two stations here are gonna build all these ships and send them down here to meet here. So it's gonna be great. We finish this research. So the next thing I want to do, um, I'm gonna grab the cheapest thing on here is, is physics research. We can get more energy credits from our technicians. That would also be really good to do. But yes, that, that's two construction complete. Considering where I'm at with money, I think that's something I can't really pass up. And I should do this. And we're up to 14k minerals, and when it hits 15k, it's going to tell us to sell some. So what I'm going to do is just sell some right now. Like that. The constructor ship is over here doing things, and I'm not paying attention to it like we do. Um, so yeah, these guys, we created the second research lab, it's great, and it employed two of the three specialists, and then we lost somebody. We lost a researcher, this guy, so do we, we have somebody who can do biology, so we're going to do that. So now he's a match for that type, 
to work on gene modification and he has 48% to progress it. That makes one of these science ships, this one right here, not have somebody. So I'm going to grab this guy. And the reason I'm not getting rid of, let me explain why I'm not getting rid of these science ships and I'm just making them assist research on the planet. First of all, it keeps this number, it, it's, it's a small bump here. The research that he's doing to it and when you, you can go to this planet and click on it and there'll be a little icon um we're getting research assistance plus 10 percent because of the ship so that that first of all that's a nice little bonus to have from the ship doing it but the se second thing is when we finally go to war with these bozos down here every time that our ships clash there's going complete. to be uh debris and we're going to want to take these research ships and send them down here and analyze that debris to further our research becomes a very important part of doing research we're going even more in the hole because i started building all these other ships that's what this is about that's why this is turning so red i'm still looking for this what's couture doing couture it's got this but we don't have the jobs yet we don't have people working the jobs there's uh one of seven clerk jobs which is why we're not making money so we need this planet here. Turn Incoming transmission. To crank out the people. So a trade deal offer. He's going to give me energy credits and minerals, complete. and he's just going to hope that I like it. Okay, that works for me. Incoming transmission. Inactive civics. We have an in inactive civics that are not providing us with any benefits. Mechanist, yes, but we can't get rid of that. It says the civic cannot be added or removed after the start of the game. So that's why we're just leaving it that way is we have to it seems like a a bug in the game it seems like they should f maybe change the way that works because it says it's so a non-aggression pact i'll say okay to that that costs us some influence i think no nope, we're still at 5.85 and will we be at 5.85 at the end of the month let's find out in two one zero nope see so it costs us a little bit consumed a non-aggression pact that says 0.12, that's what it costs. And all those little agreements that you tend to make, they, uh, they tend to cost things. All right, I can start making things on this planet. And I probably want to start with Temple. It's going to provide a priest job. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to this guy and I'm going to resettle him. Poacher 2. He can go there. Because he's going to be here. And as soon as this thing is done building, he's going to get a job. So he didn't have to spend all six years on unemployment. And I want to need to make sure I'm building fast robots here. Which I'm not. So, robot, robot miner, robot farmer. Where did my fast robot Construction go? complete. There it is. It's right there. I'm just blind. That's all. I want the fast robots because they take less time to build 15% faster. Get that population cranked out there. Turn this on. Here comes a tradition. That's awesome. Unlocks Diplomacy Form Federation. That's what I want. That, I may not need that right this second, but I want to have it in my back pocket. This is... By four, I got four more complete. fast robots on this planet. And I'm out of jobs for them, basically. So I'm going to take these people and resettle them to Poetor 2. I can only do four because I don't want to lose a building. But that's why we keep cranking out robots because then just for the cost of some money, we can get them over here and, and unlocks another slot. We've got three fast robots here. So we create two more mining districts, which will get them uh, employed. I need to sell some more of these. Try to get us into black here. I got these fleets down here. What's our fleet strength look like compared to these guys? They're pathetic again compared to us. I got this guy doing this job. So there's that going on. And Bioforge just cranked out oh, a Bioforge Supremacy person. Cool. So I'm going to use this last spot to create a city district. That'll create some clerk jobs for him. 
mining station output is cheap, but then there's also the Starhold, and it matches Voidcraft, which is what he knows how to do really well. And there's gas extraction holes, which I need. Um, all these things are good. Destroy our whole hit points and housing. Everything on here is something I want and need and is good. I'm going to grab the star holds though. I want to go after these exterminators and I need to start thinking about how I want to go about doing that. What's going to be the best way to do that? Because ideally, you want to you want to clamp down on the spot and create a really good choke point with it. Uh, for instance, <clears throat> his capital's right here. Because look, claiming this would be kind of a pain in the butt. Because you'd have to create a choke point here and here. Or if you got all of this, then there's this is a mess. This is a mess. You'd have to go down here and get all of this so you complete. could create a choke point there. Or... There's no good way to do this. He's got a real messy system here, doesn't he? There's just nothing you can do that's going to be easy. I'm going to keep looking at this. So I want to plan. I want to plan how we're going to do this. I'd like to, first of all, take this and that and that. I'd like to take all that stuff from him. And I'd like to take this and this and this. I'd like to effectively move that choke point and that choke point up. So maybe if I could get all of this right here, which would be doable, and these, there's five planets here, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, if I could get this whole mess here, then I'd put a choke point here probably, and a choke point here, and we'd have this whole construction complete mess of stuff, and so we'd, we'd only, we'd just be trading our two existing choke points and putting them here and here. And we'd be grabbing five worlds from him, which would be fantastic. But this would take a lot of influence to do, so. Bioforge Supremacy. Okay, well now we just gotta wait for enough population growth on this planet to get to 70 so we can unlock the next slot. So, the only thing that would help right now is being able to upgrade these buildings and we don't have that research. So we just have to deal with unemployed persons. Just kinda have to suck it up, Buttercup. This is a fast robot. He's not going to be able to work this technician job. But again, sometimes you just got to have unemployed workers so that you can bump the population up so you can unlock another slot there. Governor gained trait. Construction complete. At least I'm over a hundred minerals even selling so that's nice okay so here's Pote and I need I've, I've got the three main things on here that I wanted a robot assembly plant a gene clinic and a temple so now it's time to actually start putting real stuff on here and that means either mineral public purification plants or uh, civilian industries I think I'm gonna put civilian industry on there we keep falling short on this and I don't want to have to buy more. I don't like having to buy this. This is something I like to have in the black without having to purchase it from the market. That's that's usually a goal that I try to stick Construction to. Construction complete. So all this is done over here. So he can work his way back up here. That direction. Take a look at this drone study, 22 months away, 55 months away, 23 months away. The L cluster, we've only managed to get one of seven L gate insights. Habitable world survey is almost done. And the Ute Empire. So this is a wreckage of what appears to be a Ute colony ship was discovered in orbit of Siviev. An analysis of the vessel by a team of archaeologists could yield interesting findings. Do we need a science vessel to go do that? Nope. This. No. I'm curious what we need there then. Team of archaeologists. Let's see. 
What did it say? Construction complete. It said city of three. This is one. This is three. Lives of the bioforce. Hmm. I wonder when that's gonna fire off then, because we're tracking it, but there's no option to research it. So all these things are done. That's why they got a check mark by them. Alright, back to here. Let's take a look at this. This generator world. This is another thing we can also have it do this, or we can have it do alloys. It also has uh, fuming bogs, which are gas extraction wells. So let's do that. Let's provide one job there. Max gas extraction well. Oh, we don't have the technology yet for it? Oh, we don't. Okay. In that case, I think I want more alloys. Actually, if we put an energy grid down, because we have technicians on this planet, let's do that. Construction complete. Let's do that. This planet is a factory type of planet. Has one unemployed fast robot. It has no blockers that we can clear. It has commercial zones. It just needs more alloys or consumer goods. Alloys, because we need to make war. Again, another fast robot here. It's going to be jobless for a while. So that's okay. Research complete. We need to go up and get these alien vessels out of there too. Energy credits from jobs. Energy Nexus is an upgrade. Research complexes are an upgrade. Antimatter reactor. That's a, a lot of research later. I should either grab research station output because it's cheap. Or research complexes. I only have two research comp buildings right now. So... Yes, that makes the most sense because this is the this is our dedicated research world. We only have two of these right now, and we already have two jobs on this planet that are being filled, so we're not. Yes, extermination. I know. I know. This is great. Okay. Construction complete. So it says there. Oh, through hard work and experience. They're inferior now. Their fleet power is pathetic and their economic power is inferior. So, we could try going after them. I just need a lot more influence to do that. There's, there's a couple different ways to, to make war in the Research game. Research complete. And we'll be talking about that in more detail in next episodes when we do go to war. Oh, this is going to be great. This is going to be a great way to end this episode. Construction complete. This unlocks another civic slot. It's going to take a long time to get there, but... I love this. Prio revitalization centers. Uh, medical workers turn consumer goods into amenities and pop growth speed, which is very nice. I really want this. This is going to take a long time to get, though. I think I'm going to do it anyway. So, let's take a look at our species. We got the tech, the Bioforge Supremacy. So we can create, we can add another trait to our species. For instance, we can say we engineering, physics research, uh, pop housing usage down. Let's say strong, they do more army damage. Traditional unity from jobs, I like that one a lot, especially since we're a spiritual society. Leader cap up, leader lifespan. So I. Pop consumer good upkeep minus 10. I like this though, the unity from jobs. So you create that template, and now we could go say apply that template to all of our peoples everywhere. Situation log updated. 38 months research. So all of our population, all 120 people, all 120 billion or whatever that represents, are going to. Uh, provide a lot more unity. It'll be fun to watch that research. And in fact, I want to keep this episode going long enough to see that, but we're going to have to see it next time, I think. 
because I want to see how that plays out. Yeah, 37 months away and it's been an hour. All right, so what we're going to do is stop this here. And uh, we'll say, folks, as always, if you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel. If you think these series is cool, hit the like button down below on the video. And if you have a question or comment, just drop it down below. I'll do my best to answer it. I hope you're getting a lot out of it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.